This is not an appropriate location for any kind of gun facility, and I'm a big time shooter. I just want to reassure you that there's a lot more to this process and the buck is not stopping here. Multiple signs lined Willow Creek Road in Eagle, reading build the gun range away from our homes, our horses and our hills. They refer to a proposed 80 acre target shooting range in the Eagle foothills. One, the city of Eagle is heavily pushing. The city heard from the public over the past three months and says it'll update its shooting sports park plan based on feedback. But many feel the city won't listen to them, including people who live right next to the site and those who use the land every day. Tammy Bromley has ridden her horse out here for decades. We are out in what equestrians call Little Gulch. Where access to trails, open space, and it's one of our very favorite places to come ride. And tranquility is unparalleled. This is a place that I come to to center my soul. This is, this is more holy and more spiritual than a church. And I think that's true for most of these people out here. Not just for equestrians, but for runners, hikers, dog walkers, and people who live out here. You can just sit out back and enjoy the sunshine, the sights, the people, the equestrians. But that serene, quiet, rural nature. And it's the fabric of Idaho. Could soon be disrupted in the foothills north of Eagle. Not by a subdivision or a strip mall, but by the sound of gunshots. Just one to 2,000 feet from some homes. The foothills are under siege. The, the, the gun range is a part of it. And we've had so many people move to the area that they're pushing the equestrians out and we're running out of places to go. This is our last stand. The city of Eagle tasked a work group with developing the Eagle Foothills Recreation Plan. Passed by city council last summer, the plan lays out uses on BLM land north of Beacon Light Road and some land around it. Creating a designated safe area for shooting surfaced as the top priority in the plan. The work group pinpointed two potential spots for a shooting range. One on BLM land, the other here, east of Willow Creek Road. They ultimately landed on this site. The city of Eagle wants to tuck a formal shooting sports park in these foothills. The roughly 80 acre site sits about three and a half miles north of Beacon Light on Willow Creek, which is Eagle Road. The owners of Spring Valley Development, the massive planned development going in just west of here, want to donate this land to the city to build the shooting sports park. In an open house in early March, Eagle Mayor Jason Pierce agreed with Spring Valley's owners, who want to stop willy-nilly shooting on BLM land next to their development. So for us, it's let's get ahead of the game, let's create a place, let's make sure that we have a spot where it happens and it's not, you know, the wild west. The park would have archery courses, a pistol and rifle range, a shotgun firing area, and a separate range for law enforcement. A fence would go up around it to control access. How many people would support the shooting range? The, where, where we're proposing it. We're saying. While dozens showed up to meetings this spring in opposition, several others supported a controlled, convenient place to shoot. First of all, I applaud you folks for what you're doing here. I think it's a good idea. And, but I've had rounds whiz past my ear on one occasion. And uh, I really appreciate the city of Eagle creating a safe space for all of us to shoot. I think it's... Uh, it's a lot more convenient than the other places that we have. We have to be able to have um, places for people to go shoot um, that are controlled and they aren't just setting up targets on Pearl Road or Willow Creek um, that can put equestrians, bikers, hikers um, in more danger. And this will not stop shooting on BLM that many in the equestrian community are still very concerned about after close calls. So to say, oh, well, this is a safety issue, is it? Does it close beyond to shooting? No, it does not. Homeowners like Michael Fereno would have to deal with the public shooting range half a mile down the road. We're right next to it. Problem is, they aren't Eagle residents. So that's the issue. They live in unincorporated Ada County. But hey, sorry, you're not in the city of Eagle. You don't have a voice, you don't have a say. We're being shut out of the entire process and make no mistake about that, that is deliberate. He and his neighbors aren't just worried about the noise, they also worry about all the cars this will bring. You know, Willow Creek is a little road, no drainage, the sides are already cracking off, there's no lining, people already speed. Neighbors say Eagles leaders didn't flag them to meetings about the shooting park. Not only the shooting park, but the rest of the rec plan, they're not including the county residents who are gonna be impacted the most. 
hey, if I live 10 miles from down here, you bet I want a shooting range. We love the Second Amendment, and we like our houses. Equestrians we talk to feel the city isn't taking their feedback to heart either. They stood alongside neighbors when we met up at Little Gulch, holding signs showing their disdain for the fate of the foothills. Hundreds of them depend on this large lot to park and unload their horse trailers so they can access hundreds of miles of trails. It takes a lot of space to park a horse trailer and have enough room to unload a horse. If the shooting range goes in, renderings show they wouldn't have space to do that. And some of their trails would disappear. A single gunshot you can hear for several miles, the way it echoes up and down the uh, drainages. Um, and we just avoid those areas where we hear a gunshot coming from. And unless a horse has been conditioned to gunshot, when they hear it, they're going to bolt and spook. And that's really dangerous for anybody riding. Mayor Pierce would not talk to me for the story, referring me instead to public records and meetings. We get, we're getting information, not only the questions here and, and answering some of those things as we go forward. The city has said repeatedly the plan is still very preliminary and ongoing. Nothing's officially decided. Really, really, this is about, is this something that the community wants? We don't even have studies on traffic impacts, noise impact. Um, what this course is going to look, you know, the facility is going to look like. So I think just to put the community at, at uh, comfort a little bit that we're in that, which you just reiterated, the conceptual phase of this to see the feasibility of it. City Council did decide to move forward with noise and transportation studies for the area. In late April, records show they voted to spend close to 20K to do the noise study. If they come back and it's a bunch of junk, then we deal with it then, but at least we have the facts on that information as opposed to just blindly making decisions. As for who foots the bill for the shooting sports park, Mayor Pierce expects foundations, private donations, and user fees to pay for it. He says he wants to have that piece ironed out soon so they can break ground by fall. We're the audience of a gun range. That's not the issue. The issue is where you're locating this range in proximity to residential areas. Where would you prefer to see it go? You know, honestly, it brings to question the demand for shooting ranges. If the city moves forward, Farino and others plan to fight back. If the residents were here first and you open a range, a nuisance action is allowable by law. To preserve the tranquil, quiet, rural nature of his home, of Idaho's precious open space. The foothills is the crown jewel to the Treasure Valley. You're one of them. There's so many beautiful areas. I don't know why you want to mess with this. Why do you want to mess with this? Eagle sent out a survey. About 60% of people who answered supported the idea of a controlled, convenient place to shoot. 40% opposed it. A city spokesperson says the public part of the range will cost around $2.2 million. Public records show Mayor Pierce and staff met with the J.K. Albertsons Foundation about potentially funding the public range. The city wants to partner with law enforcement agencies for the law enforcement range. And again, they want to try to start construction by early fall. There's controversy over a different shooting range in the foothills as well. This one on Avamore land. It's not far from Eagle's proposed range. The Crowfoot Range Group, mostly made of people who live in Avamore, is working on building a shooting range off Pearl Road in Boise County. Public agencies approved their permit, but similar to the Eagle Range, neighbors are fighting back. They reached out to me with their frustrations and concerns about the noise and fire hazards this could bring to the foothills. Avamore's owner says people trespass and target shoot off Pearl Road all the time, thinking it's public land, and they leave Avamore with the trash. The owner doesn't think this range will bring more shooters, but rather instead, he thinks it would make it safer.